फाइव रीजन टू गेट द आई सेवन के और द आई सेवन के नंबर फाइव लो टी डी पी द आई सेवन के यूजिंग 88 वॉट कंपेयर टू द आई सेवन के यूजिंग 95 फाइव वॉट सो दे द सेवन वॉट डिफरेंट गैस एट द एंड ऑफ द डे इफ यू just use less sound watt per hour per day per month per year there will be a huge decrease in your electric bill i mean not huge at least you can save some dollar of your electricity bill number 4 basically the i7 4970k is using a ddr3 ram versus the i7 6700k is using a ddd r4 but in reality there is no different in performance yes i mean ddd r4 is two times more faster than the ddd r3 ram but in reality in the benchmark in the reality in video editing in gaming in video rendering in image editing in video encoding no difference i miss no difference is better you just get a ddd r3 2400 mega hertz ram rather than getting the cheapest ddd r4 ram at 2133 mega hertz at the end of the day if you go with a ddd r3 16 gigabyte kit it only cost you 100 dollar if you go for a ddd r4 16 gigabyte kit it will cost you 200 dollar i mean go with ddd r3 which is costing you less 100 dollar the same 100 dollar amount you can invest on a graphic card number 3 basically the i7 4970k is basically cheaper than the i7 6700k yes it's going to be cheaper i mean basically the price difference is 50 us dollar again if you're saving the 100 dollar from the ddd r ram and then and then if you just go with the i7 4790k you are going to save another 50 bucks number 2 higher turbo speed the i7 4790k give you the turbo sp speed basically of 4.4 gigahertz both, both are having the same base clock speed is 4 gigahertz if you compare the turbo turbo mean when it need more power i mean when one single core need more power it can turbo boost so the i7 4790k is giving you 4.4 turbo boost compared to the i7 6700k which is giving you 4.2 turbo boost i mean x 0.2 turbo is much better is number 1 the major is not to get i7 6700k is better you just go with a devil i7 4790k then no huge improvement they no basically any performance can hardly 2 to 4% the intel i7 6700k get the performance was only 2 to 4% and make sure to check out the benchmark in the description box below so why should even i i i should go with the i7 600 6700k or 6700k if there is only 2.4% uh, basically performance improve i mean some benchmark can be in margin error some say 2.4 some say 3 i mean basically the real question is that only 2 to 4% performance improve to be honest with you i will never get it. i will just go with the i7 4790k is cheaper the ram is cheaper the motherboard cheaper and then it's basically giving me the same performance compared with i7 6700k is me jimmy agree here was the 5000 not to buy the i7 6700k bye bye